good morning and happy Friday. So some of you might be working on their uh, A license or you're right out of AFF uh, and you're looking to start getting your own gear. And uh, there's a lot of gear out there, a lot of information it could get overwhelming. Um, first thing you wanna get is probably your first helmet. Today, I'm gonna show you what to take in consideration in getting your first skydiving helmet. So let's get to it. Before we start, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell, get our latest notifications. This really helps our channel grow. Thank you. So choosing your first skydiving helmet, it is a really important decision as it plays a really crucial role in your safety during your skydive. So here are a few um, things to consider when getting your first helmet. So first would be what type of helmet you're looking for, either a full face or an open face helmet. So you can go either with a full face helmet with a, with a face mask with, uh, or, or a visor, or you can go with an open face helmet, which uh, usually are lighter uh, compared to the, uh, the full faces. Uh, you have uh, obviously less protection in the, in the face, but uh, it comes to personal preference. Uh, full faces, you have overall more protection. They're a little bit heavier, depending on the type of helmet. Some helmets will have impact protection, which uh, makes the EPP foam inside the helmet a bit thicker, so that will add a bit of weight. Uh, but overall, you have more protection. They are way quieter than an open face since you have a closed, um, uh, let's say, a closed mask in front of you. Uh, and uh, all come with standard dual audible compartments inside. If in case you later on would to go with an audible altimeter, you can install it in pretty much all helmets currently in the market at, at the moment. Uh, with an open face, uh, you definitely will need goggles. Uh, so you keep that in consideration. With the full face, you don't, so especially if you're looking if you wear contacts uh, or you wear uh, prescription uh, glasses, uh, a full face would be something that I would definitely recommend. That way you don't have to worry about the goggles flipping off or you losing your glasses or losing a contact. So that is uh, one thing to take in consideration. Another factor would be comfort. You definitely, if you're spending X amount of uh, money on a uh, your first skydiving helmet, you definitely want it to fit properly and to fit comfortable. You don't want something to be too tight around your head uh, that it actually uh, it might cause you headache down the, you know all day during during your skydive. Uh, you want uh, overall snug fit with either an open face or a full face helmet. You want a snug fit all around that it feels tight, not uncomfortable. That mostly you with full faces, you have snug, uh, snug fit around your cheeks, but not too tight around your temples or your forehead that I actually feel that like you're squishing your head. So if you have an overall snug fit, uh, and, and the helmet does not move with ease, side to side, if you shake your head, it's not gonna move, uh, then that will be the fit. Um, we just take in consideration any helmet, open face or full face, when you first get them, uh, the padding is brand new, so it's a bit thick. And in time, it shapes better to your head, it breaks in, so it's gonna shape a little bit better to your skull. It's not gonna go a whole size up, but it will definitely shape, uh, feel a little bit better to your head. You want something that you can adjust. All helmets come with my adjustments uh, and the chin strap, but you definitely want something that is comfortable once you have it set to your uh, the desired length on the chin strap. And that you actually feel that the helmet is snug but comfortable. Another thing is ventilation. With uh, open faces, you have pretty much ventilation all the time because it's an open face. Uh, so you don't get, uh, it's not as hot, let's say in the summer when you're jumping. With full faces, nowadays, most full faces, you have really good ventilation through the front of the helmet that circulate all over the inside and through the back. So in whatever position you are, uh, you have air coming in the helmet and making sure that your visor does not fall up. Uh, and pretty much all helmets or anything in the summer, once you um, open your uh, once you open your parachute, anything will fog up, goggles, helmet, uh, visor, anything, until you open your visor up. 
Um, but the ventilation, you definitely want that, a good ventilation uh, um, on free fall. And, or if you're flying in a tunnel, you also want good ventilation as well. So pretty much all of the helmets currently in the market have a really good ventilation through the front of the helmet, usually around the mouth area, through that front uh, air dam, or through the back of the helmet. So that circulates, keeps your helmet, uh, helmet cool and the airflow through the, uh, uh, the helmet itself. So with, uh, with a full face, uh, you obviously you get a visor, which you can replace for uh, different variations, either tinted or uh, some other variations like uh, gradients, like Cookie has different uh, uh, shades, like the orange and blue gradient, which have uh, lesser tint than the, the full tinted one that you can use. Or if you're using a clear visor, uh, because you have sunglasses underneath, you can also go with that. With open face helmets, you uh, definitely need goggles because you have you have no visor in front. So any goggles uh, that uh, fit properly and that you're comfortable with, you can use with the open face. Uh, any of the goggles out there in the market, you can use with any of the open faces. It's just a matter of uh, comfort and preference. Uh, a lot of people prefer going with the uh, let's say the cheaper goggles because they've been jumping them for a while and they're just used to them uh and there are other goggles that have a little bit of padding around the uh edge of the uh of uh, of the uh the, the actual shield and that are you know provide a little bit more comfort comfort but uh it's personal preference but any full face any open face helmet will work with any type of goggles another thing you want to take in consideration is the weight Full face helmets usually are a little bit heavier than an open face, uh, obviously because you have a smaller shell uh, compared to something larger like that. So it's gonna be a weight difference in between the two options. Uh, you want something that you're comfortable. Again, it all, it all comes back to the comfort uh, part. So keep in mind that uh, full face helmets are not all the same depending on each manufacturer's design and uh, protection and padding and all that, the helmet will vary in weight. It's not like a huge, huge weight difference, but uh, for example, the Kuki G35 compared to the Kuki G4 is a little bit lighter because the EPP foam inside the Kuki G34 makes the helmet taller so you have a bigger shell and you have a bigger uh, inside uh, protection for the helmet. So that makes it a few grams uh, heavier. Um, so you just take that in consideration. You want to be comfortable. Again, if you're spending X amount of money on a new helmet, you definitely want it to fit properly and to be comfortable. Durability. So uh, this will depend solely on how you take care of your stuff. I mean, if you take good care of your helmet, your altimeter, your gear, it's going to last you for a long time. Most helmets are made in the same way. Uh, they Each manufacturer uses different materials. Some are more um, resistant than others. Let's say the ones that are made in carbon fiber will definitely uh, uh, last you for a long, long time and will resist more, uh, more resistance to scratches or, or, or dents or whatnot. Uh, but uh, overall, it depends on how you treat your gear. Uh, I've, seen people jump with their old let's say factory diver helmet for x amount of years and they're still in pristine condition just a few stickers with high the scratches and that's it uh but uh yeah it depends only on how you treat your gear so invest in a helmet that uh offers you protection and comfort okay so you can enjoy your skydiving experience to the max Looking for more information on helmets? Click on that video over here. You get uh, a comparison of the most common helmets right now in the market uh, that um, are really popular. So go ahead and click it. See you in the next one.